Giovanni near the Vida Cafe and to see my friend who transitioned from the UK to Ghana and set up a Pilates, which is a mind, body and soul exercise that we do here. I wanted to find out why she decided to bring something that's German for one and that's been in existence since the 20th century. Let's find out why. Finally, I see your face. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey. do you know what? Oh my goodness. Hey, eight months feels like forever. <laughs> Listen, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, and I'm, I'm ready. Welcome, welcome to the Pilates I made it. Welcome. <laughs> um, here's your little gift. Welcome oh, back. Thank you. It's got all the bits you need in there. For oh Pilates. wow! Oh so my come god! Through, come through. Welcome, welcome to the Pilates. Oh my god! Studio. I've had some children here. Yes, only the best. <laughs> so you know, until you messaged me, mm. I had no idea about Pilates. Really? No. Okay. So all I know mm. is that it's from the 20th century. German? Yes. Why did he set it up? Uh, he had issues with his health, so he just thought physical exercise was the best way in which he could ameliorate basically what he was going through. Okay. And Better so than the gym? Out. Oh yeah, absolutely. I don't even think the gym was like a thing back then. Wow. Because yeah, it was like early 1900s, yeah. right? Yeah. So he started off with like a random bed with like pulleys and things like that on it. And like 100 years later, here we are. Wow. Mm -hmm. so, so it's welcome. for mind, body, and strength. Yes, the concoction of all of those okay. things. So here, I told everybody to just disengage, listen to my voice, get them on the various pieces of equipment, get them to breathe properly. Is it infused with yoga? Not no. really, okay. no. I mean, there is that uh, misconception okay. that it is, okay. but it's not. I mean, there are two types of Pilates. There's the machine base, which is this stuff that I'm going to get you on later. And then there's the mat base. The okay. mat base Pilates, people sometimes think it's, it's like yoga. Right. There are similar moves, but you hold the positions for longer. Mm -hmm. And the main thing about Pilates is that it focuses on core strength. So, so it's good for women that have had babies. Yeah, I had my son 10 months ago. What? So yeah, and all I do is Pilates. I mean, it, my diet as well also wow. helps. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's get this. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. Okay, let's see what's in my bag first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is a, oh, nice. I feel like, you know, switching up and actually wearing this is cool. Okay. And then what's, socks. oh, so, shall so I wear this instead? Yeah, okay. so you've got some grippy socks. Okay. So you must wear something with grip. Yes, yeah. Okay. I sell those socks. Okay. <laughs> oh. If anybody wants one, and just sanitize when you're ready. Did you know that there was a market for it here? The funniest thing is I was thinking about what could I do in Ghana? I came to Ghana uh -huh. like years before and I thought, you know, this is the place that I should have come to when I was 17. Wow. I'm not 17, but I don't <laughs> anymore. Many years later. So you think that you, you felt that you should have come a bit earlier? I felt, had I come when I was a teenager or, you know, a bit younger, then my life would be different. The thing is, is that all the things that I've been through in my life has led me to this point. Wow. And I feel like now is my time to be here. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. So the family is here. My two children are, my other half is coming wow. at some point, but I came before him. You came before And he's the Ghanaian one, not me. Wow. <laughs> Where are you from? Brazilian, Jamaican. Wow, yeah. what a beautiful mix. Yeah, it's That's all right. Amazing. It's all right, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. so should I get you started? Yes. Let's start with Kegel exercises, mm -hmm. when you draw the pelvic floor muscles yeah. internally. Mm -hmm. So I need you to do that. Okay and then draw the navel in towards the spine. Okay. So think of sucking your belly button in. Right. Okay, opening out your chest. Mm -hmm. Good, We're just relaxing your hands and then standing a fist width distance apart, a parallel feet. That's okay. it, reach your breastbone up. You're gonna inhale and exhale. Nod your chin towards your chest, soften the knees. So a micro bend of the knees and exhale, roll down.
Okay, so just lift your feet for uh -huh. me and then place them here. Mm -hmm. That's it, nice and parallel. Bring your arms down by your sides. Good. So I'm just going to test you for diastasis recti just to see if you've got separation of abdominals. Okay. okay. Interlace your fingers around the back of your head. Good. Bring your elbows up to peripheral view just here. I'm going to inhale and exhale. Just lift your head, chin and chest. So lift the forehead up towards the knees. Okay. Yeah, actually very good. You're fine. And then come back down. Oh, yeah. Perfect. You've okay. got no separation of the abs. Mm. All right. So what I'm going to do is just tilt your pelvis backwards. Okay. okay just there. And then bring it forward just to bring oh, mobility okay. to the okay. spine. Okay. The lumbar spine. And exhale. Just melt the lower spine down. And then inhale. Bring the pelvis back to neutral. Oh, okay. And exhale. Melt. And inhale. Forward. Good. And exhale, you're going to melt the lower spine and lift the hips up towards the ceiling. That's it, coming up, bone by bone, bow bone. Pressing into your arms, your arms are your bridge support. Okay, okay. place the feet down, good, inhale there. And exhale, pull deep into the abdominals and come down, articulating bone by bone by bone. Each wow. vertebra comes down, okay, mm -hmm. inhale. And exhale, melt the lower spine and peel oh. the hips up. Peel the abdominals up towards the ceiling. Inhale and exhale, articulating and coming down. Good. Last one for the pelvic curl. Inhale and exhale, melt the spine. Lift those hips up, up, up towards the ceiling. Inhale and exhale, articulating, coming down. Bring the right leg up to tabletop. So you're just going to bring this leg up here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to inhale. So have you done yoga or anything like that before? No, not really. No? Okay, inhale and exhale, tap the toes down. You're going to tap for six. Okay. Very dust taps, okay? So nice and delicate, five. So this is just bringing mobility to the hip, but also you're anchoring the spine down. So this is all abdominals that's controlling this, okay? Wow. Last two. And one. And place the foot down. Good. Bring the left leg up to tabletop on the exhale. Inhale, prepare. And exhale, tap. And up. And exhale, tap. Make sure the back is down. Good. And three more. Two. And one. Keep that leg up at tabletop now. Bring the other leg up to tabletop. Good. We're going to gel those knees together. So glue them together there. Mm -hmm. Make sure they're in alignment. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then press your arms down by your sides, just pressing into the okay. bed there. You're going to inhale, bring the knees over to the right hand side, and then exhale, pull deep into the abdominals, bring them back into the center. So we're using the obliques to bring yourself back into the center, okay? okay? And inhale over, and exhale, pull, I heard a click there, and yeah. exhale back into the center, inhale over again. And exhale, bring the vertebra down, using the obliques, come back into the centre. Bring your leg up here. Okay. Interlace your fingers around the back of your head. Point the toes. Okay. Inhale. Bring the elbows up, so interlace your fingers around the back of your head. Like that. And bring the elbows to peripheral view. Like this? That's it, yeah. So just bring them up. So hold the legs here. I'm just going to get you a ball, okay? Place your feet down for a second. So what type of people are coming to do these exercises? Oh, all types. I get expats, I get Ghanaians that come. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. The thing is, it's because it's relatively, it's new here. New, yeah. Right? Um, it's all about education as well. Okay. So, yeah, people might think, oh, she's mad to just bring Pilates. Who's going to come? Yeah. Like, I actually had somebody say, oh, your business won't do well. Oh, because, really? Yeah. Someone said that to me and I was like, oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> it won't do well. Or, you know, nobody knows about Pilates. And I said, well, it's not just as a businesswoman and doing Pilates, but it's also about Health. educating. Yeah. So I have to educate a lot of people yeah. about the benefits of Pilates, wow. try to get them in. Yeah. Once they do it, it's like, wow, this is amazing. Fantastic. So, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna bring your legs up to tabletop again. Mm -hmm. Holding it there, inhale. And exhale, bring your forehead up towards the ball. That's it, so we're just drawing into those abdominals there, okay? Wow. And then inhale, come back down. And exhale. Good. 
and inhale and exhale so don't drop the elbows okay still stay up and inhale down and exhale so give me some pressure with the ball there good and inhale down it's quite hard and then the last <laughs> wow. one come up 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 hold it there you're going to rotate so your elbow is going to rotate to the opposite knee there okay oh and then pull deep into the abdominals come into the center and then come over to the other side so we're rotating so Ooh. rotate there like so you're this. getting into the bleeds. okay yes. and then over to the other side Keep this in the center, okay? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and that's it. Try not to twist the hip and rotate. And back over to this way. Eat this. <laughs> and back into the center and come down. I'll go easy on you, okay? So that's just warming up your abdominals. This is a warm up. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a warm up before we get onto the machines. <laughs> My goodness <laughs> me. So, what were you doing in the UK before you? Uh, what was I doing in the UK? Yeah. Oh God, jack of all trades. Really? So I think I had like three jobs. Wow, yeah. doing... Preparing for me to come here as well. Okay. So I used to teach Pilates part-time. Okay. I was in renewable energy. Wow. As well. Okay. That was my full-time job. Uh -huh. And then I had like another side hustle, like okay, that you were designing well. stuff and then selling it in shops. Wow. <laughs> That's it. Swivel the hips. That's it. Place the heels on the foot bar mm -hmm. and then flex your toes and flex the ankles. Perfect. Bring okay. your arms by your sides. Okay. Comfortable in the mm -hmm. shoulders there. Yeah. Good. Making sure your back is nicely connected and mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. Kind of inhale. Inhale into the rib cage. Okay. And then exhale through the mouth. Okay. And inhale into rib cage and exhale through the mouth. And last one, inhale. And on that next exhale, you're going to extend the legs. So push into the foot bar and exhale. Fully extend the legs. That's it, all the way up. So you want to get these quads up into those thighs. Good. And inhale, come back in. Okay. And exhale, extend the legs, push out. Is the weight okay? <coughs> Good. Breathe, exhale. <laughs> It and inhale come in so what you want to do is avoid the carriage hitting the stopper you want to still keep the tension in the thighs exhale push out and inhale come back in and I'm glad like a lot more Ghanaians are, are coming are coming through in. yeah okay yeah. when you look at the clientele that you have mm. like how many are coming through the door are they young people are they older people mostly I would say between the ages of 20 to 42, um, but then I've seen a lot of people like heading towards retirement, 50s, okay. 58. That are coming they in. They start telling their friends, wow. you know, and then I had like a 70 year old come. Oh, wow. And, and an 85 year old come. Once everybody saw the 80, like she was the pre Laurie Harvey, basically, wow. extend your legs. Wow. So she came and I posted it, said she's 85, and my Instagram like literally blew, blew up. up. Everyone's That's like, okay, this is putting me to shame. I have to ha I have to come in. And then how long is a session? How long are you supposed to have a session for? So an hour. An hour, That's okay. That's how, how long I teach. Okay. Well, I mean, I do specials. Okay. So I do shorter classes, which is the price is a little bit, little bit less. Okay. And, and do you do couples together or friends together? Or? I do if people want, but group classes, you can just book online, okay. come, okay. find a spot. You don't need to bring other people with you. And I have a maximum of three people that come okay. um, for a group class. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just by booking, you can't just enter like you go to the gym? No, because okay. I need to know your history. Okay. So I send you a health questionnaire, right. you complete it. Okay. And then, yeah, before. So if I find that you've got something that wouldn't warrant you um, coming into a group class mm, mm. because I can't give you that 100% attention, then I would suggest that you do a private class okay. rather than a group class. And then in terms of the rates, how are the rates? Um, They're competitive, well. but I try to stick to the price okay. and just change it only like twice a year. Okay. If, but I try to base it on the, on on the, the dollar. dollar. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, and I do packages, so okay. you get discount if you by packages. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. That's cool. So your heels are going to go to either side. Mm -hmm. Legs are going to come out a little bit. Don't be shy. Mm -hmm. Good. Seen it all before. <laughs> <laughs> Exhale, push out and inhale, fill the lungs, come in. Good. So this one is mimicking a squat 
and exhale, exhale. <laughs> and inhale, come in. Oh shoot, that's all right. <laughs> Just pretend you're doing it. And inhale, no movement. Exhale, push out. That's it. So when did you start the business here? During COVID. And how was it like raising the family and also working in Ghana? It's less stressful than in the UK. Okay. What's the times? Uh, twice a week I do 7 a.m. Okay. But most days it's 8.15 a.m. Okay. Till... So, so I do 8.15 until 1, okay. have a break during the day. That would never okay. happen in the UK. No, <laughs> no, no. And then I restart again from 5. The perk of being here, yeah. once you do find somebody that, can, that you trust and yeah. that can look after your kids, yeah. then that's peace, you know, of peace of mind. And is it a lot of female coming or male? A lot of females come, okay. yeah. But yeah. Joseph Pilates, who it's was a, a guy, man, yeah. the man who created it, yeah. reach your arms up towards the ceiling. So it is great for anybody that has a body, basically. Yeah. So for everybody. Yeah. So yeah. people should just come to try it out. So wait, 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 oh. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so bring your right leg up to tabletop. Okay. Draw the navel in towards the spine. Make sure the spine is connected, which it is. You're mm -hmm. going to bring the other leg up to tabletop and glue those knees together, mm -hmm. okay? Point those toes. Nice ballerina, all right? Going to inhale, extend the arms. Nice, strong arms. So I want them strong okay. and straight. Okay. okay. Got it? And mm -hmm. exhale down. And inhale up. And exhale. And inhale, next one. You're gonna lift the head. Lift the forehead towards the knees. That's it. And then back. Wow. Bring the head down, okay? That. And exhale, exhale. Lift the head, lift the head towards the knees. Good. And inhale. And exhale. Still give me tension in the straps. Lift that forehead up. Think of the shoulder blades coming up. And then inhale, relax the head as your hands come down. <gasps> And exhale, come on, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, you can do it, let's get into those abs, beautiful. And inhale. And last one. So you know what, the funniest thing is, you ask me if it's men or women that come. Yeah. So lots of girls bring their boyfriends and then they're like coming in here like, what is this nonsense? <laughs> what is this? They're oh like, what goodness. is this? Like they're wow. going to batter it. The way I finish them. Wow. Oh, my I'm telling goodness. you, they can't do it. <laughs> I got this it's hard, so funny. You know? It's so funny. Oh. I God. love so much. This is more this than the gym, you know. I know that's this is what everyone says. They're like, the gym we're just playing. In the this gym we is are playing. More than gym. <laughs> My goodness. Bring your arms up. Inhale. And exhale. Roll up to seated. Just no no, roll up to seated. Use your abs to come up. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, reach your arms up. Inhale. Don't look. Okay. Use your abs to come up. Inhale. And exhale, articulate, come up. I've got your legs. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I've got eyes everywhere. <laughs> hey, I don't think I can get up. You can, you can. So just pull deep into the abs, really pull, and then reach up. And keep your legs straight. Okay, inhale. And exhale, roll up. You can, you see? There you go. Oh my All right. <laughs> so how many exercises are there? Oh my god, there are so many. Really? Hundreds, literally. You've got the reformer, which is there's so many different variations wow. that one can do. So we're gonna work with our arms now. Okay. okay. Which yeah, I need to just, I need just to, to work that arm. Yes, yeah, just to turn it up. So let me just get this out of the way for you. Okay. Okay. So is that a common thing that people come in for? Absolutely. Okay. We all, you know, even me, I'm always working my arms okay. because as you get on, yeah, you start seeing, especially after kids, you see certain things like, hey, where yeah. did that come from? <laughs> no, no, no. Let's 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 get rid of it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna place your arms on yeah. the external okay. part mm -hmm. here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stand back a little bit for me. Okay. Okay. You're gonna keep your arms in extension, nice, strong, and long. Okay. okay. Fingertips reaching. So you're going to lock it in here, but okay. have your fingers reaching. Okay. Mm -hmm. Going to inhale, pull deep into the abdominals, mm -hmm. and then just give me an anterior tilt. So you're going to bring your pubic bone just mm -hmm. towards your nape, your belly button. Mm -hmm. Reach your breastbone up. Inhale, and exhale, pull the bar down. Good. So we're getting oh, into the triceps. Okay. Yeah. Relax the shoulders, and exhale, mm. and inhale up, and exhale. Relax those shoulders. Raise your eye line, and exhale. Push down. And inhale. And exhale. Good. Nice and strong here. And inhale. 
and exhale relax the shoulders think of the shoulder blades coming down your back good and inhale the eye line and hip and exhale relax the shoulders that's it bounces all day <laughs> you're gonna come here strong and here okay and body stay still just the arms come up high with the arms that's it don't rock the body backwards and forwards three and two and one good come up standing you're gonna come in lean into it okay it's gonna take your weight and you push out and in and okay and in so step forwards mm -hmm. pull deep into the abs extend so keep the body still and bend at the elbow so bend when you come back okay. bend when you come back inhale oh, okay. and exhale that's it literally i can feel every muscle stretching and getting to work so if you haven't tried this before i would say try it She's been messaging me, Denta, just come and try it, just come and try it. And honestly, I can feel what she's talking about, I can feel it. And I think the more and more that you go, you'll have a nice solid body mm -hmm. for your mind, body and soul. So absolutely, I would definitely recommend it. We've been having bits and bobs, you know, conversation here and there, but I want to talk to her more about the transition. Why she wanted to move to Ghana in the first place how it's been, how it's going, how business is, and also finding friends in Ghana. How is that, or are you just more focused on the business? I've lived in different parts of the world. I've lived in Brazil. I've lived, obviously, in the UK, yeah. was born there. Lived in Spain, went to university there. Okay. I've had that experience of South America, Europe, never really Africa. No. And I wanted to know like, where my ancestors came from. When you told your family, your friends in the UK that you're coming to Africa, what mm. was the vibe like? My family was cool okay. because I've travelled and lived in other places before. They kind of trusted me mm. to know what I'm doing. Mm. But do they um, trust Africa? Because sometimes when people say Africa, they're like, mm, are mm. you sure? Have you read more about, you know, uh -huh. what? Did they? Well, my parents aren't like that. Okay. They're kind of, they're open-minded and okay. they trust me yeah. to know what I'm doing, okay. basically. Okay. And then... Pound to city when you came. <laughs> I was shocked at how things are expensive here. Okay. I really was because everyone thinks Africa mm. and it's cheap. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. That is, it is not cheap. And I made the big mistake where everybody does first time. You want to live the kind of life that you do in the UK. You shop at certain shops. You don't go to the markets yet until the pockets start to get a bit dry. dry. <laughs> So then you're like, okay, so where's the local market then? So I went to Ab Abraboshi, Ab Medina. Ab I never ever say that word right. I, I love Ab that Ab word. Abraboshi. Mm. So I went there and it rained and it was a nightmare. And yeah, I had to get piggybacked back into wow. the taxi because it just flooded everywhere. everywhere. Mm -hmm. So every time I go to the market, it rains. So I don't go anymore. So anyway, there was that. And then mm -hmm. Medina market, just to find out the prices. Do you think things would have been better if you had planned to come? Like you know properly. What? I don't think I would have been here if I was doing that. If right. that happened. I don't think I would have been gullible enough to take that step. Wow. Even though in my mind it was like 2021, I'm gonna open a studio. Okay. But 2021 I had my son. Wow. So it might not have happened okay. had it not happened the way it did. Yeah. Do you okay. understand? So I think God had his the, the his path way. for me and yeah. exactly. So have you made any friends in Ghana? Have you, do you go out with some of your clients, like make friends with your clients and go out? At the beginning, I had a really strict rule mm -hmm. where I would not mix business mm -hmm. with pleasure, really. Okay. And for the simple reason is that I, I have a cancellation policy and, and I would say that that really is the reason why I decided okay. to do that. 
-huh. Once you start blurring those lines, they're like, oh, see, oh, do I have to pay? Yeah. And then, you know, you can't just switch it on and be the boss or be the sure. business owner because you've kind of compromised that as well. Yeah, exactly. And, but then thankfully, some people really understand and respect the fact that this yes. is my business. Yeah. If you want to be friends, then you have to respect the fact that I'm also a business owner yeah. as well. So okay. if you're coming late or if you cancel the class, you still have to pay. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I didn't really mm. strike friends. And do you think that Ghanaians are sticking to the rules? I stick to the rules. Okay. Do you okay. see what I mean? But do and they so, though? So people understand. Okay. Yeah, they do. Okay. They do. So if they're like, oh, see, they're sorry, da, da, da. I'm like, okay, so um, this is what you have to pay. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I'm like, that's how it is. Yeah. And But the thing is, in every single communication, that I send out, it has that 24-hour okay. cancellation mm. policy, mm. and so they can't say they've not seen it. Okay, Ghana is very hard to enforce things, as you I can know. see. I know, and, and that's the thing. Right? That when <laughs> when I thought of doing that, because that's what it is in the UK. Yeah. And where I train, the woman doesn't. She doesn't care if you're sick. She doesn't wow. care if you're going into. She does not care. You have to ring up and cancel 24 hours before, because then people won't get paid. Staff won't get paid. The AC's on. You know, yeah. you're paying for everything and you're waiting mm. and somebody else could have that time. Mm. And I know what you mean. I was thinking, do I enforce that? How, will it work? Yeah. You know, but I've had to do it yeah. and people have respected it. There's some people, and it's funny, it's not even the Ghanaians that are, are the ones that don't. Oh, wow. It's others that others. I've noticed. And then it's like, oh, like the other day I had a situation. Oh, I never signed up to it. And I was like, well, actually you did. Yeah. Was there a language barrier? Do you find any challenges with that? No, 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 none at all. Okay, I'm actually speaks. learning tree. Are you learning tree? <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, okay, yes. that's good. So, but there's no language barrier. And is there yeah. any family to support you, or you just there's nobody here? No, no. Wow. Yeah, just me, and at the moment with the two kids. With the two kids. Yeah. There's a lot of people that are like, I've got no family there. Mm. I'm not coming. What would you say? Just come. Mm. And I just think that life is too short. Okay. You can't be waiting. Who are you going to wait? Why are you waiting? Mm. Do you see what mm. I mean? Mm. Like you just need to do it. Yeah. But like, people are saying Ghana is hard though. But Ghana. it is hard. But right. this is the life that I'm choosing to live, okay. right? Okay. And this is what I've wanted for years. So every challenge I face, mm. you just have to keep persevering and doing it. Mm. Do you ever see yourself back in the UK or Brazil or Spain or any of the countries that you've been with? Are you going to truly stick to Africa? Um, I don't know if I'll be here for the rest of my life because okay. I know within myself, I'm a bit of a nomad. Okay. So I think for the next at least 10, 15 years, You're gonna be I will be here. For your children, what mm -hmm. are you trying to instill in your children, them growing up? Mm -hmm. Are you going to be schooling them here? What are you going to be doing? I already am. My daughter's okay. in school here. Okay. I love the class sizes, only six in her class, wow. 32 in the UK before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know in the bigger establishments, there is that here yeah, too. Of course. But I like that intimacy that she's getting. And I think that she's the type of child that needs that too. Yeah. That More she's here, able to thrive in the environment where she sees a lot of people that look like her. Yeah. So what are the, some of the setbacks that you've had? If, even if it's minor, that's yeah. fine. And what are the, some of the positives? Mm. So it's funny that you say that, that people on the street just get on of it. Yeah. That's what you have to do. Yeah. I'm in a position where I have that ability to travel in and out and I've made the decision to live here. Yeah. Like you said, people out on the street, they're hustling. Yeah. If they can do it, why can't I? Mm. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So you just have to get on of it. Yeah. There's no excuses. The plus side of being here is the amount of people that I meet coming through my door. Yeah. I really, really love the people that I meet, yeah. the, the people that I'm working with. The environment is that I'm here to help you. Mm -hmm. So you're always going to leave feeling good. Okay. And so that's a nice position yeah, to be in. That's and that's nice. really the reason why I'm a Pilates that's instructor, because I want people to feel good wow. within their body. That's amazing. Mm. Well, keep up the amazing work. Health is important. So uh -huh. when we do have people like you to help us yeah. with our health and well-being, I think it's amazing and fantastic. So well done to that. Thank you. But I think that you need to probably start training younger people to okay. be able to do what you do. I would love that. Because sometimes as diasporans, we don't share mm. much of our skills mm. as much as we should. Mm -hmm. And this is a skill that you've gained, even if you yes. do training and they go out and find their own 
opportunities yeah. and yeah. build their own Well, thing. that's exactly what I want. And yeah. I've been struggling, Denta. Really? I am looking for young people that I can bring on board to train. What? I'm Hello. telling you, I am really struggling. No, we will I find, am struggling. No, Please. we will find young people yes. who you can train and they can use that skill to build their own business. Mm -hmm. You can start your own business and I think that this take up the opportunity because mm -hmm. we complain about no jobs, but there is jobs out yeah. there. And she's looking, actively looking. looking for people. So please get in touch with me and I will put you in touch with her so you can get trained and start your own business. I feel so good right now. I feel like I've done a major workout. You can't <laughs> see any sweat on my face, but trust me, my body feels it so much. The stretching, there was some cracking <laughs> going on as well. But thank you so much guys for watching. God bless you all. Bye-bye.